Okay, so for this um, mass ratio sheet, um, it says use the following information about the masses of elements in each pair of compounds to help you suggest formulas that account for these ratios. So we've got one compound that is 57 grams of oxygen compared to 42.9 grams of carbon, and one compound that is 72.7 grams of oxygen compared to 27.3 grams of carbon. So we could just, in order to figure out how much of each there is, we can just divide by 42.9 here, right? Or we could have divided by 57.1. It doesn't really make a difference because all we're doing is trying to figure out what's the difference between these two um, values. How, how do they relate to each other? So 42.9 divided by for, uh, is a one carbon or one gram of carbon for every uh, 57.1 divided by 42.9 is 1.33 grams of O, okay? And I could have also done this as a for every statement. So I could say for every uh, 57.1 grams of carbon, there is um, 42.9 grams of carbon. Sorry, this should be oxygen. And then so I could rearrange that and I could just say for every uh, one gram of oxygen, there is blank grams of carbon. So in order to get here, I had to divide by 57.1. And then here I would divide by 57.1. And again, it doesn't really make a difference. 42.9 um, divided by 57.1 is 0.75. So it's a one to three quarter if you think about it in terms of fractions, you know, this value here is 4 thirds O to 1 C, or we could say 1 O to 3 fourths C. So it's just the inverse of those. Um, and then it says determine the value of the mass ratio of O to C in each compound. So if I'm comparing O to C, it's 1.33. And then compound B, um, I would divide by uh, 27.3. Uh, so 72.7 divided by 27.3 is uh, 2.66. And then it says, how does the mass ratio for compound B compare to that on compound A? Uh, it's uh, twice as much. And then it says express these ratios as improper fractions. So again, that's four thirds and eight thirds, right? So if atoms of C and O have the same mass, then if I use, let's say, a triangle for carbon and an O for O, then that means I would have forgot which one was which. Uh, yeah, four O's compared to three C's. And on this one, I would have compared to three C's. And then it says, atoms of O are heavier than copper atoms by the ratio in compound A. So what that says is that it's really four-thirds times three-fourths, and that's a one-to-one -one ratio then. So I would get that. And then again, it's compound A. So again, that's the inverse of this value. So I would have... 8 thirds times 3 fourths is going to give me a 2 to 1 ratio. So in other words, I have 1 carbon for every 2 oxygen. And I'm just going to do one more for you here. It says that we've got compounds of copper and oxygen. It wants C to O ratio. So again, uh, I'll, I'll just set up compound A as a for every statement. So I have for every uh, 79.9 grams of Cu. Uh, there is 
20.1 grams of O. Um, and if I'm looking for the O to be my to be the one, so this is one gram of O, and this is some number of grams of Cu. Well, in order to get from 20.1 to one, I had to divide by 20.1. Here I'm going to divide by 20.1. That's going to come out to be a number uh, real close to four, like 3.99. So uh, determine the value of the mass ratio. Uh, it's uh, 3.99. And then this one is going to be pretty close to an 8 ratio. So let's just say 4 and 8. How is the mass ratio for compound B compared to that in compound A? Well, again, it's twice. And so then we'd have 4 to 1 versus 8 to 1 here. So sketch the particle diagrams. Let's just go ahead and scroll down. So C, U, and O have the same mass. Well, we said that this was 4 to 1 and 8 to 1. So uh, if C, U, and O have the same mass, that means that if I use triangles for C, U, and O's for O, that means that I have 1 O and 4 C, U's, right? Just make it there. And again, by the ratio in compound A, that would mean that we'd have... CuO. And in the second one, we'd have uh, 8 over 1 times 1 over 4. Again, because it's compound A, we'd have a 2 to 1 ratio. So we'd have two coppers to one oxygen. And over here, this would be 8 to 1, which is... Um, And I'm just drawing these kind of arbitrary, so you don't have to worry too much about that. Okay, I hope that helps. Uh, there's an answer key for the remainder of it, but it, it kind of follows along if you understand this part, okay?